In this St. Matthew training video, we are going to be making backgrounds from the picture and then editing them for the three levels of brightness. So we are logged into the AV booth Mac. We are going to go to the media drive. We're going to select a picture, a biblical illustration here. Um, we'll take this, uh, we'll use God is love here. So now we're going to open PowerPoint. loads. Okay, we're going to go to slides and we're going to select the layout. We are going to get rid of it, just have a blank layout. Pull that down. Okay, here's my picture I want. Drag that in there. I clicked and held it, then I'm going to release it. Let's go put it in there. I'm going to move it up to the corner. And then I'm going to drag the corner and fill that screen up. Now, it's not quite the whole thing. So I have a choice. I can either have a black bar on the bottom, or I can just keep going. Drag it out, and it's, it's going to be bigger than the slide is. That's fine. Then I'm going to crop it. And I'm going to take that in and try to find where the edge is. There it is. Then I'm going to click and hold it move it over, let go, there, now it's the full screen, okay, now we're done with that, so we hit the escape key, now I'm going to duplicate this, so I'm going to right click, duplicate slide, right click, duplicate slide, so there's my three, then my first one is my original brightness, the second one, I'm going to dim, I click on the picture, then I go over to transparency and make that 30%, <coughs> but I forgot to do something, I'm going to take the next one, and I'm going to make that 60%. But it just kind of looks like it gets foggy, not really darker. So on my, on my master, or my first slide here, I'm going to take this image, slide it over a little bit, click on the background, change the background color to black, then move the picture back over to fill the whole slide. And then my slide 2 and slide 3 are just a shade darker for each one. Now I'm going to... Um, save this is called God is love so save God is love and I'm gonna put it on my desktop yep and it's a PowerPoint presentation save that that's in case I ever want to go back and edit it, edit this again that I can then I'm gonna save as and now I'm gonna change it to a picture PNG on the desktop, same name, save. And that's done. It says it made it into a folder, so I'm going to quit, Command Q, and I'm going to find it here on the desktop. Find it, aha, uh -huh. I think I found it here. There it is. So I'm going to take the PowerPoint and I'm going to put it in the folder, and I'm going to take the original icon and I'm going to put that in the folder. So all of my, the original and the PowerPoint and the slides are all in the folder. Then I'm going to drag the folder over to Biblical Illustrations. And so that should be in there. God is love. Yep. And what have, why is my... There's the original. It's in there. Okay, so I can delete this extra copy of it and move to trash. And that's done. Then I would, when I'm in Pro Presenter, I would browse to this folder and select all these that are called Slide 1, 2, and 3. And it would import into pictures for background for use in ProPresenter. This concludes our tutorial on how to edit a picture to have the three levels of brightness for worship.